Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Around the Table GTA. Like I said in the last episode, we're going back to normal. We're going to go back to more self-improvement um, episodes and more things to just help you bounce back. And that's what this episode is about. It's called Bouncing Back, How to Bounce Back and Tips and Tricks to Do That. Uh, recently, I've been accomplishing a lot of goals but I also did take a lot of time to just relax and have um, a fun time, just enjoy myself. Like I said in an earlier episode, this summer I was outside. I did so much and it's time to get back on track. Um, for me personally, uh, like I said, I got my main goal done for this year. So I'm very happy and I am even in the mindset that I don't necessarily need to do anything <laughs> anymore this year goal-wise because the main goal is done and that's not the mindset that you should have, especially when you've accomplished a huge task. You have to use that energy, that momentum, um, that proud feeling to accomplish more, even plan to accomplish more. Uh, my big issue is I could make a bunch of plans and then after not follow through or I'll pick and choose parts of different plans and I can't go in one direction like I have to go from this then there and everything but because I can't improvise because I can't add on to plans because that's just how I am I still manage to make things work out and um, in order to bounce back you have to have that mindset of why do I want to bounce back right uh, it's November now and it's a month where a lot of people do different things to kind of get back into that type of focus. It's a time where a lot of people are even working a little bit harder because Christmas is coming and people want to get gifts and presents and whatever. Whether you do um, celebrate Christmas or not, it's a time when there's a lot of planning going on because what are you going to do at the end of the year? Um how are you going to manage to make all of this money and what are you going to do to make things work out so the second thing that i would say to help you bounce back is to remember why you want to bounce back just remember a time where you were that guy or that chick you know you have to have a reason for that like every time I want to get back into shape um, I just remember goals that I've done in the past or things that I thought was super hard and I was able to do so I think it was last year I was finally able to do like 10k and I did 10k under an hour and I was just like wow I can't believe that right and then I always remember ever like every time I try to start working out as soon as like I start gaining some muscle you feel completely different you don't feel the same and that feeling of being fit is not only a physical thing where everybody looks on you outside and like oh wow you look good but you actually like your insides you feel different you move different like waving your arms around feels different when you're fit and when you're not fit, right? The tightness of your skin, I don't know what it is. It just feels better to have more muscle. And it's a feeling that I do enjoy, despite <laughs> constantly being fit and unfit, uh, even though my version of being out of shape is completely different than others. Uh, you, you still have to push to get to that point. You have to build yourself and be able to imagine yourself in a better place. That's what bouncing back is all about. And bouncing back also has the characteristics of even imagining yourself in a better place, right? Um, I think of times where things were super hard and I just imagined myself out of the situation, but not just out of the situation, being in such a better place where it's kind of like the goal that you need to get to the end of your goal right bouncing back is 
not just a recovery plan. It's also a plan to do more, right? Um, I remember I always like easing work because work is the easiest thing to reference when people get older. But like I've told the story a bunch of times where I remember when I was doing two different jobs and both of them just wasn't it. And I got to my current job and I was just like, mentally, I was like, I'd never work in a place like this originally, right? Before I even got the job. But just experiencing that difference changed my mindset and also reminded me that, you know, there's certain things that you might not enjoy in life, right? There'll be parts or things that you'll have to push yourself through, but you remembering your main goal is what's going to get you through that struggle, um, that lapse of time where this is not it, so that you can get to your major goal in the end. So how do you start your bounce back? Well, it depends the type of person that you are, right? Are you a person that uh, can't handle pressure? (laughs) Uh, Can you handle pressure? How much time do you have? You have to put all of these questions into consideration, but realistically, the simplest thing is to just start and do it. Do it today. Uh, Don't wait for tomorrow. Don't stop and be like, hey, you know, I'm going to go brush my teeth. Do it today if it's possible. If you're a planner type of person, put in your planner and put your planner somewhere where like as soon as you wake up, your planner is there or the book is open and has that. You know, some people are visual people, you know, maybe draw it out, draw a sketch, (laughs) you know, maybe you're a person that enjoys audio like myself so you can record something (laughs) you know sometimes you're a person that you're motivated by the people around you get someone who is kind of like um a person who gives you a reminder someone that you care about a lot because especially when someone's trying to push you you need someone that you know that you're gonna listen to kind of like no matter what or you know, someone who is going to be consistent with you. Don't get someone who is going to not push you, right? Just because you're a little bit uncomfortable. So like, I'll give you an example. Like for me, sometimes I want to sleep in, but I need to wake up, right? If I, if I depend on certain people because they know I'm tired, they're going to let me sleep in. You don't want You don't want that person. (laughs) You want the person who is not afraid to make you upset. Why? Because they know that this is what you wanted, right? And that's another thing about bouncing back. Remember, this is what you want. What are you going to do to make sure that you get what you want? It takes a lot to get out of your comfort zone. And maybe I'll do, I always say maybe I'll do an episode on it. I definitely have to do an episode on it. Uh, But I don't have time to do a back-to-back episode i think maybe i'm going to do like an episode every day this week and just make it easier for myself but see i'm already planning to bounce back right that's what i did uh back in september i did a bunch of episodes just so uh i'd have more time to think and balance out the rest of my life and that's how i got to my main goal being complete i had a lot more time to um just focus on that one goal right? So that's another bounce back tip. When you want to get to your other goal or your main goal or bouncing back, you have to look at all the things that are eating up your time that is unnecessary, right? And this is an example that I'm going to use where when you have kids, I don't have any kids, but when you can, when you have kids, you don't have as much free time as you want anymore because Something might happen and the the kid is your priority, right? Your kid randomly might get sick. You have to get off work. You have to stop what you're doing. You have to change all your plans because of your child, right? And not having a kid or having that free time, endless free time because you're not caught up with kids is a luxury that a lot of people don't understand until they have children and then 
it's a thing that also can make people bounce back or even push to do more because now that they know that their time is limited now their free time is the most precious thing that's possible and that's a reminder right there guys your free time is precious you can use it how you want but as you get older things are going to change and you're going to regret that so do what you can with your free time while you can and if i were you i'd use it to bounce back and for the older people who are watching me or the people hitting their mid 30s or late 20s if you are looking to get back into shape this is the best time and kind of the last time for you to get back into shape because as you get older things start to deteriorate so you have to put yourself in a physical shape that will be better because it's all going to deteriorate anyways it's going to be harder to build muscle it's going to be easier to gain fat and if that's not what you want to be a walking blob <laughs> then you need to do things to change that whether it's exercising more whether it's eating less whether it's eating better you need to build a plan so that you could build up yourself or rebuild yourself to the way that you want to see yourself and yeah that's pretty much it guys hopefully you guys did like the episode hopefully you do have a bounce back plan you know some people they're better at different seasons right uh, for me i love running when it's warm but at the same time when it gets cold that like cold breeze that air that you get when it's cold in the morning is it's like something magical <laughs> I, I don't know how to explain it for the people who never experienced like true cold or the people who hate the cold to an extent like like it's my least favorite season but you always have to find a way to get to your goal and whether it's reminders whether it's audio message whether it's your friends uh whether it's you talking to your past self um because you've planned so far ahead and then you're like oh these are all the things you know maybe you're a visual person and you need like a vision board or just a giant board like uh, <laughs> in elementary school with all the things that you want those are all like different fun ways to kind of uh get yourself motivated to uh get to the point that you want to get into in life whether it's like a small physical goal whether it's a financial goal um and yeah sometimes we have to push through and you you'll have to push through to get what you want because if you stay comfortable then you know not much is going to change and then certain things might sneak up on you either way hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode i did and i chose to do it right now <laughs> instead of waiting so that uh all of the thoughts that are in my head don't fade away and like i said before it's like it's hard for me to write down it just comes from the top of the dome so uh hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode and i'll catch you guys on the next one take care